All right, what we're doing today is flying the Magpie, the Mountain Models Magpie AP again. Uh, it's this plane here. I'm running a GoPro HD video camera under the front that we're going to switch uh, audio, video and audio between. And today, uh, because I've been curious about the altitude of the flight, the video has been pretty good, but I haven't known my uh, airspeed or my altitude. We're running a Droid X. Uh, with the GPS on using the MyTrax application and from that we're going to get our GPS data such as um, altitude, speed, and it'll, it'll also map our, our flight course. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, that was a pretty rough takeoff. I think it was from the additional weight of the Droid X in addition to the GoPro. And uh, after the fact, during the flight, I realized there was quite a crosswind uh, that we were having to deal with up there. So it created a very unstable flight. But uh, overall, I think we did pretty good. We'll see what kind of data we gather. Okay, here we are back down on the ground. And I've had a chance to look over some of the data. We've got a couple of flights here. This is the flight that we filmed uh, from the ground and the air. Uh, as you can see, the total distance flown was 1.41 miles with a maximum speed of 30 mi 35 miles per hour and an average moving speed of 23.5 miles per hour. And you can see our beginning elevation was 1127 and our max elevation was 1425, yielding an elevation gain of 372 feet. 
That wasn't quite as high as I thought I had been flying, so what I did was remove the camera uh, from the plane because I felt like it had a little too much weight. And I took the plane up again, and this time, these were the results. Uh, it was a shorter flight, eight tenths of a mile, almost nine tenths of a mile. A little quicker at 38.67 miles per hour. But as you can see, my elevation gain this time was 453 feet. So I was able to gain a little more altitude uh, without the camera on board uh, at full power on the, the uh, plane. The wind was still a bit tricky up there and I think the center of gravity of the, the placement of the phone may have been a little off. But overall I'm pleased with the results, pleased with the GPS tracking, and it was a successful flight.